welcome to another video on my channel. Today is going to be the start of me uploading midweek as well. So this is going to go up on a Wednesday and I'm going to probably keep Wednesday from there on out. Um, so you'll have the weekly vlogs on Sundays and then a midweek video on Wednesday. I don't know what they're all going to be. I kind of have an idea of the next like two or three. But this is the first one. It is what I am packing for our trip to Florida slash how I'm packing in just a carry-on slash what carry-on I use. So it's just kind of an overall that type of information. So while you're watching this, we will already be in Florida. And it's going up, it's a good thing this is going up midweek because we're actually surprising my little brother and sister in Florida. So this will go up after we have surprised them, which is good because I wouldn't want to ruin it. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about those things and let's get on with this video. This is the case I'm going to be using. It is the Aero Light Super Lightweight case and this is just from Amazon and I think it's less than 30 pounds on there. I think it's a really good option for a cheaper case and I have packed multiple for multiple trips in this and I can pack about a week or so in just this carry-on. Yeah, I just got it in this pretty wine red type of color. I've seen it in gray, white, I think, and kind of like a baby blue sort of color. But I went for this red because it's easy to spot in case I do have to check a bag. I can also check this one too, but usually I just like to stick completely with carry-on. This is what the inside of the case looks like. You've got this big open compartment here and it does have the straps to compress your clothes with once you have finished packing. And then over on this side, You've got this mesh pocket, and then these two pockets right here. I've already packed uh, my socks and underwear in this one. So then this compartment unzips, and you've got another full-size compartment on this side. So overall, for a carry-on, I would say it's a pretty spacious bag, and you can fit a lot of things in here. So I thought I would start by just really quickly showing you guys everything that I'm going to be taking. So as for um, bottoms, I'm taking this full-length maxi skirt from American Eagle. And then I'm taking three pairs of shorts. I have this pair of Old Navy um, running type shorts, so just a more kind of comfy shorts. This pair of a darker wash jean shorts, and then this pair of a lighter wash jean shorts, which are both from American Eagle. And then as for tops, I have this little stretchy crop top from American Eagle with the cute little detailing on the front. This off-white, off-the-shoulder with blue striped tops from American Eagle. Can you guys tell that I love American Eagle? I'm just really bummed that I can't buy it here because the UK does not have American Eagle and to order from their website, I think I would have to pay like the custom stuff on top of it to get it shipped here and it'd probably be pretty expensive to get it shipped here, but American Eagle is one of my favorite places to shop. And then this one's a little bit hard to see what it actually is because the straps do crisscross in the back, but it is just a black crisscrossy tank top from Urban Outfitters. And then this is one of my newest purchases. It is just this flowy crop top with like bell sleeves and this is uh, River Island. And I actually did get this specifically to wear on this trip, so I'm really excited with that. And then I just have this simple blue t-shirt that says be your dream on it and it represents the ballet school that my brother and sister go to so I thought it would be nice since I'm seeing them to wear this because it's actually a really nice shirt and it's just fun to show them that I support them. Then last thing for tops is I am taking just a one long sleeved uh, just this kind of army green shirt. It's very lightweight and I just want it for like evenings because it can get kind of chilly in Florida in the evenings sometimes and this is also from American Eagle. I think most of this is actually American Eagle. I am taking this one piece. Some people say romper, some people say play suit, some people say jumpsuit, but it's all of those things. And then this one is just from Old Navy and I've had it about a year or two now, but I am going to take this and I haven't decided yet, but I might take a dress with me. I don't know. I haven't looked through them yet, but there might be a dress in here. So that's everything clothing wise. And then I am taking two bathing suits. I have this orange one piece with a with a low back which is I oh gosh I think this was top shop I want to say I think and then this is my newest bikini this one took a lot of work to actually get so these bottoms are from H&M they have these little cutouts here and I bought the top to go with them because there's a matching set 
And I bought that and it came in, it was way too small. So I sent it back and I got the next size up. And that was still way too small. So I was getting kind of frustrated and I was looking all over because I just wanted a black top to go with this. And I was about ready to order like four sizes up of that H&M top. But then we went out and I decided to have a look around some of the actual stores and I found this bikini top in New Look. It is just a halter bikini top and then the straps, oh, it's really really hard to describe this. So it's just a black bikini top and then these straps hanging down here tie around the back view and it actually looks like it was made to go with these bottoms which was great because everything else I tried on didn't look like it was, you know, right. It wasn't meant to be, but this was perfect. And then I'm also just taking three uh, bralette things from American Eagle. Let me show you shoes real quick. I'm just taking my brown uh, leather rainbow flip-flops. These are my trusty flip-flops. I've had them for years. And then I'm also taking my new Vans, which if you watched, if you watched my first weekly vlog, they were in that one, I believe. Um, but yeah, they're just black with the leopard print stripe, and I'll probably wear these on the plane. I also have a plane outfit, like what I'm going to wear there, and it's just leggings, a tank top, and a sweatshirt over that, and these. So I, I like to be comfy, especially on these long flights. That's everything that I'm packing. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I will pack. So what I like to do, instead of folding all your clothes into the suitcase, which takes up, which can take up more space than you want it to, and you can't pack as much, I like to be a light packer. That is what I kind of strive to be. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't. When I'm packing to save space, I like to roll my clothes and that just really helps a lot with kind of everything overall. It's easier to keep your clothes from wrinkling if you roll them. It's also, as I said, space saving, which you can then either take more with you or you have more room if you go shopping while you're away and you wanna bring stuff back. So all I'm gonna do is roll up all of these clothes and place them into the bigger compartment. So that's all of the main clothing packed into this bigger side here. As you can see, I could easily fit a whole like another layer of clothing on top of this, but it makes me really happy that I fit all this so nice and neatly in here. And as you can see, rolling it really does save a lot of space. And then over here in this second zipper compartment, the first thing I'm going to put in here is this bag. It just has a bunch of little gifts and stuff for my family that we're bringing back for them. Just some fun little silly things. So that's just going to sit right here in this side. I'm going to throw the bikinis and all of the bralettes into this corner because this doesn't have to be super organized. Suitcase, I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm taking as my personal item on the plane, which is just going to be this big black can bag. Um, this is just from H&M. It was, you know, $20, I think. But it, it does fit my laptop in here, which is really convenient. So what I like to do with this bag is I use it like my purse and I usually use it like my purse on the trip or anything but when we first get to the airport and you know before we leave the house and what I pack in here is my laptop and also my toiletries bag so that when we get to security it's easier for me to get out my laptop and the toiletry bags put them into the tray than it is for me to get them out of the case and then once we're through security and we've gotten to our gate we have a chance to sit down then I will put them into the case usually. I think that's everything that I have to show you guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The midweek videos are going to kind of be like this, a little bit more like sit down kind of, not quite as casual as the vlogs, but still, you know, casual in a sense. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this video, if you have any packing tips of your own, or if you might, let me know if you might try this way of packing. I hope this was useful to somebody. I know I like to watch packing videos. Um, it's just really fun for me to see how other people do it and see if there's any tips that I can take from them. Be sure to subscribe so that you see Sunday's video of our week in Florida because it is going to be really exciting. Thank you guys for coming here and packing with me and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!